Come back to the library, try to channel. So they'll be learning how to make this beautiful pinafore. You can also call this a dumb grace. Okay, it's very simple to make. If this is what you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of the tutorial. Thank you. So library trust you subscribe channel. So they'll be learning how to make a kid's pinafore. Or some people call it dumb grace. So you can actually adapt this method to make for an adult also. And for this, I need just two measurements, which is my round waist measurement, the round waist of the person wearing this. That's where they'll place the skirt or the pianoforte, and also the length of the pianoforte. Okay, so the round waist I'm working with is 20 inches, and the length is 12 inches. For the length, I'll be adding one inch allowance, which is going to make it 10 inches. And for the round waist, because I want some pleats. I won't be cutting exactly using my 20 inches measurements. I'm going to add 10 inches to it so that it will give me enough room to pleat, to add extra pleats. So if I add 10 inches to 20, it's going to give me 30 inches. So now to get my radius, I'll be dividing 30 inches by 6.28. And that's going to give me around 4.7. So I'll approximate it to 5 inches. So it means my radius, my radius is going to be five inches and then my length is going to be 13 13 inches including allowance so you can watch my video on how to draft different types of of flare for better understanding so this is a full flare which means i'll be folding the fabric into four and i already did that so if you want a half circle flare you can fold your fabric in a triangular form it doesn't have to be a full flame okay so now I have measured 5 inches round for my radius and then 13 inches round for my length so now I'm going to cut this out Okay, so I cut this out already because there's not going to be any opening is a full flare. I just notched it so that I'll know the important point. Okay, so now I can take this side to be my front and this other side to be my back. And then I'll be adding just little, little pleats. I've had the pleats before I had my band my battery sorry i forgot to mention that this skirt is going to be having a band so ideally before you cut out your skirt if you are having like a one inch band you need to remove that one inch from the length of your pinafore because the band will also make up part of your pinafore so now i'll be adding a one inch band to this so i'm just going to trim out the one inch from my hemline because i forgot to do that when i'm drafting okay Okay, so I've trimmed it off now and I'll be labeling this front part as my front. So now I'll take it to the, mach to the machine now and then try to add some maybe inverted plates or just normal plates to heat before I add my band. So for my band, I cut out two fabrics of, okay, it's three inches wide and it's 28 inches this is on full 28 inches in length i made the two separate fabric remember i can actually put it on fold for my band but i made this cut out because you know it is a pinafore which means it's going to be having a suspender and i don't want my suspender to be showing so i want to try to just sandwich once i turn in my suspender i want it to sandwich it, I want to send you in between the band so that by the time I finish it the edges of the suspender will not be showing outside and I also cut a suspender of around 20 no, let me see okay around 23 inches and then the width is 4 inches so now for the suspender I cut it on fold which means I'll take it to the machine now and then sew it like this before i turn it out so i cut two of it remember we'll be having the suspender and the measurement for this you can actually measure it on your client it can be a just straight down suspender or the one that will have a crisscross at the back whichever one you choose to use but i'm sure by the time i finish turning everything out now 
will understand it better when I bring it back to explain to us. So now basically I'm going to add pleats to this and then I'll turn in my suspender and then sandwich it into the band before I add my band to the skirt. Okay, so basically let me quickly explain what I'm doing. I I sew my suspender and turn that, turn it that like I explained. So now I'm bringing it to the band so that I can put it inside. You can see I've put placed it inside the band and I've pinned it like I said because I don't want the rough edges to be showing. So now to do this, I just put my band together and then notch it on the center fold. So this is the center, the center of my body and now I just measured where I want the suspender to be placed at, uh, on the front part on the on the person so now I just want them to be five inches apart and then I also notched that place so I just placed my suspender in between it and then I held this with a pin so like I was saying that depends on how you want your suspender by the time I sew it it will look like this okay so now it depends on how you want it to be at the back you can just go straight like this or you can just have something like a crisscross which is what I'm going for so now I'm going to go over to the back also to notch where I want my suspender to be at the back and to be able to do that I need to know the sides first so once I, I close them together like this remember this is the center if I fold it again into four and I notch it, I'll be able to know where my side is going to be. So these new notches are my side measurements. Okay, this new notch is going to be the side of the bodies. This is the center front of the body. These are the two sides. So from the two sides each, I can decide where I want my where I want my band to be, where I want my suspender to be at the back. So I just measure three inches because I don't want it as close as the front because I'll be adding an elastic band to the back to gather it at the back. Remember, this skirt is not going to be having a zipper. So that was why I cut my band in hexes so that she will be able to wear it easily because there's not going to be a zipper. So for it to fit properly, I'm just going to be adding an elastic band so that a one inch elastic band so that it can gather it and then she will be able to wear it properly. So now that I've sewn this, I'm going to make my crisscross and then pretend that I already have my back bodies. Okay, so this is going to be the back. Remember, this is going to be the back. So, okay it kept shifting so i just went ahead to hold it with the pin so that i can fold this over how it's going to be when i sew it so once i sew it it will have something like this then i can close this now and assume that okay this is my front and this is my back so now my suspender i'm going to bring it like i said if you want it straight you just need to put it in like this but for me i want it to cross at the back so i'm just going to bring this like this and then the other one is going to when i have it i'm just going to bring it to the back and the place that i already notched where i want my suspender to be i'll just sandwich it in between also so that it can be neatly finished before i now go ahead and i'm going to close it remember the skirt does not have any opening so i'll sew this close totally before we now attach it to our skirt so now i'm going to go back to the machine to do that now okay so this is the skirt part and then like i said i added some pleats to it here and there so that by the end of the day it's going to give me the exact uh, measurements for this band and i've sewn in the suspender and then i've closed the band like i said so i just added the pleats and then i used some stitches to hold it you can also hold it with a pin so now i'm going to be sewing my band to the skirt now okay so basically i'm just going to take remember it's two it's two like this so i'll take the first one i'll notch the front part and then i'm going to match it to each other and then pin it around and sew it before i bring it back once i've sewed it around i'll bring it back to show us how i'm going to be adding my elastic okay so i've sewed the band around to the bodies and this is the one inch elastic that I intend to add to it. 
okay so now let's turn it to the right side to see what it looks like okay you can see that our pinafore is coming together nicely and is almost done so you should it's advisable that you iron every step of the way so that it will make your work easier for you okay I just need to rush this for the purpose of this tutorial so now this is the front and this is the back so like I said I'll be adding this elastic to the back you can choose where you want to add it to it can be just in between this or but this this waistline is clearly bigger than the waistline that I'm working with remember when we started I said I'm working with a waist of 20 inches and then we have uh, like 25 inches here okay so this is 12 and half on food which means it's around 25 inches so i need this to gather it so that it will have some form of fitting so now i have 12 and half here i can just deduct like four inches from the 12 and half so if i deduct one two three four and then i can cut an elastic band of eight inches and then i had it from one side of the back to the other side of the back so that it will gather it to the size that i desire so now i'm just going to take my tape measure now and measure seven or seven inches if you want it really fitted i'll just measure seven inches now and then i know my size to be this and this so i'm just going to open it up remember it's not completely closed i'll open it up and this side already has a notch so i'll take this to the machine now and then hold it with a stitch but for now i'm going to hold it with a pin on one side then i'll take it to the other side of this of this side and then open it also i have a notch there and then i'm going to go and stitch it to hold it together and once i stitch it then i can now close up my my band completely and what this will do is just that it's going to gather this together you can see that it's dragging it already so it's going to gather this together so that this can fit the size that i want to wear this and it will be easy for the person to wear it because the waist is actually bigger than the normal waistline so now i'm just going to take this to the machine hold this with a stitch both on both sides and then i'm going to close up my band by just folding this over remember i've sewn one side then i'll fold this other side over and then sew it round to close it up neatly okay so the band is closed now everything is neat both inside and out as you can see there are no rough edges okay so i just use the contrasting stress that we'll see what i sew but on the right side i use a matching thread and I also went ahead to hem it down here. Okay, I used the contrasting thread for the inner part, but on the right side, you can see that I used a matching thread. So now let's see what our pinafore is looking like. Okay, so this is our pinafore. You can see this is the suspender and the crisscross at the back. This is our band, and this is our flare skirt. You can see it's very simple and easy to make this and then this is the back with the elastic that we added so that it can just gather it for us so that it will size the person that is going to wear it so let me just check what i have on the waist now and it's around nine and a half inches and i need 10 inches but the good news is it can stretch more which is good so now like i said the measurements for your suspender is advisable to measure it on the person that is going to wear it so that you have your accurate measurements but if you cannot get the person that is wearing it just in case you cut too much so that you not be too slack what you can do again is just to add maybe an elastic at the back side just to gather it for you so that it can fit properly so that is the end of our tutorial let us know if you enjoyed this tutorial or any challenges you may encounter when you are making it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.